Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Good morning, first of all. Can I say on a personal level, uh, like all my fellow guests today, delighted to be involved in your conference today and really look forward to working with you in some depth on these issues as we go forward today. One thing I've learned towards the end of my career is I really believe, increasingly in the old adage, there are only three types of organizations in today's world. One, those that make things happen. Two, those that watch things happen. And three, those who wonder what the heck happened. And of course, we don't know that today, as Bill and Mansour have said so eloquently. Only time will tell which of the PWC fell into those categories. Which category did PWC itself fall into? And the only way we'll know is in a few years' time, have a nice reunion, and the people who will pronounce on that with great wisdom are historians and the distinguished profession I belong to called business school professors. So I'm with our core competence, which is called meticulous hindsight. It's worse than accountants. <laughs> we, are, we are wonderful. It's called the Harvard Business School case study method. Forgive me, that's a dig, you know. Wonderful at retrofitting history with perfect data, saying what would you have done if you had been Sal Palmas? I don't, who knows and who cares? The question is how do you get hindsight in advance in an unpredictable, unknowable world? I was in Las Vegas earlier this year. First conference that kicks off the season, and some of you will know it today, is the big consumer electronics jamboree. I spoke to an offshoot concerned with the music industry. These people have been in mental pain for seven years since Napster, hiring lawyers to prosecute their customers. This is smart. Once you put lawyers in charge of strategy, sell the stock fast. And during the conversation, they kept saying, Gordon, our industry is mature. Ever heard that? One CEO, bless him, ladies and gentlemen, had the guts to stand up and say, our industry is not mature. The problem is our brains are mature. It's a fundamentally different issue. And he went on to tell the elegant story that in less than two years, ladies and gentlemen, the amount of worldwide revenue collected from people who are prepared to pay for 20 seconds of a musical experience, not the world certainly I grew up in in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, where the average length of the product was three or four minutes on a record, an audio, or a CD. 20 seconds, and stored not on CD format, but as a ringtone on a cell phone. That market, in less than two years, now exceeds the world market for single records. And the participants have not been at the party. So one of the questions is, how do we think, as all your speakers are saying, is not about predictability, but how do we develop, in a room like this, a shared point of view? a deeply shared point of view about the evolution of our industry and how to shape it to our advantage. That's a different question from guesswork. And as many of you will know of the partners here, it's the same issue that's beguiling the fabulous company called Sony, still struggling with the shift from the world they knew of consumer electronics to digital entertainment. The problem preoccupying the great board of Rolls-Royce in Britain for Sir John Rose is trying to figure out how do we put on the real value creating business which is information integration onto the business we know called aircraft engines, especially when the senior 200 people in Rolls-Royce do not come from the information or service business. One of the issues, of course, facing companies and business school professors is if the world shifts, what happens if the knowledge base of senior management is devalued? The same problem facing the descendants of Andy Grove and Intel. Intel inside is one of the great brand names, would you agree? And by the way, for a company like yours, where trust is critical, Intel is one of the great brand names based on trust, implicit trust. Intel inside, correct? You have no clue what's inside. <laughs> Could be an elastic band in there for all you know. The problem is they're only inside PCs. And as access to internet migrates from PC to phone and other platforms, Intel is searching for a new concept of trust. In fact, one of the things that would be quite interesting is not just write the headlines for 2015. I'd love before the end of the day if each of you wrote your own most desired headline for PWC. Because that would determine not if you agree on the forecast of the world, but if there's some degree of shared view in this room as to what are the forces you can begin to shape to your advantage. So my theme is when I work with you which I look forward to in the groups will be quite simple. There are two of them. One is this. 
The fundamental issue, ladies and gentlemen, is we don't know 2015, but now happening today, there are forces afoot that I think will fundamentally change the traditional value creation model in the Monterey enterprise that you and I have grown up with. And that is huge inflection point because it means our clients have got to manage